My name is Jared. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Metalman in the Making. Today I want to have a really uh, high level look at the Big Five personality model uh, and then go a little bit deeper into just one of those traits, uh, the agree agreeableness um, spectrum and discuss how that has been helpful in understanding myself. So this, this is uh, mostly from uh, Jordan Peterson's work on um, the, his uh, testing platform at Understand Myself and uh, also his personality course, uh, which I have recently um, looked at, which is a, just a short lecture series on uh, this uh, model. I found both to be helpful, so both the test side of things and the information that that provides, and then also the um, personality um, lecture series that uh, I recently completed. He also talks a lot about this just in his general um, lectures, uh, his, his book uh, uh, speaking tour comes up quite a bit, and, and obviously his YouTube lectures from when he was um, a professor. Uh, definitely recommend taking the test, having a look for yourself, uh, understandmyself.com. And also uh, either getting your loved one to take the test uh, for themselves. And also if you have, um, in, in my case, getting my wife to, to take the test for me. So she doesn't, hear obviously everything that goes on inside my head she can only judge my personality traits based on my actions so so that that would be kind of useful I haven't actually done that one yet I'm looking forward to seeing how she views my actions as, as it pertains to the big five personality model so the big five really quickly let me see if I can remember it spells canoe I think uh, so conscientiousness agreeableness, uh, trait neuroticism, openness, and extroversion. So uh, you've got uh, you know, agreeableness, disagreeableness, openness, uh, less open, you know, extroversion, introversion. So these are all spectrums. And depending on um, where you sit on the spectrum and the, uh, the relationship between each of these traits uh, can provide some really insight into having greater self-awareness and uh, self-awareness it appears is uh, key to success uh, success in relationships success in parenting and just success in life uh, you know self-awareness around exercise for example uh, you know I've just spoke about doing the triathlon you know if you have really good self-awareness about how you exercise and some of those barriers, you know, then you're more likely to, to overcome those or, or mitigate them uh, really early on and, and um, uh, you know, move forward towards uh, that goal, whatever, whatever it is you've set. You know, obviously self-awareness in, in relationships, um, the, your communication style, you know, love languages, all of this sort of stuff, you know, is, is key. And the, the one that I really want to focus in on, like I said, is, is um, trait agreeableness. So when I did the test, I came out really low in agreeableness. So no one that knows me really was uh, shocked by that uh, information when I told them. Uh, and it has, uh, had it's uh, how do I put this it's got pros and cons so I've had issues uh, in in my life due to my low trait agreeableness uh, and it's also got some benefits so this was actually huge for me understanding 
this 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 one trait, and it's been the one that's um, been the clearest. Uh, the one that I that of that I can look at um, and and work towards improving. The way I view the traits is kind of like a, a tool sitting on a shelf. You know, you could choose you know anything, but for example, you've got a knife. You know, in the block, it's useless. It's um, just sitting there. It's, it's doing nothing. You know, but in the hands of uh, you know a chef, it's a it creates. Um, you know, art basically, uh, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. You know, in the hands of a child, it's dangerous for not only the child but for the people around. Um, that child carrying a knife, uh, and in the hands of someone that uh, wishes to cause harm, it is a tool for creating uh, harm. So, disagreeableness. Is, is exactly like that disagreeableness in the hands of someone that is well socialized and and is in control of that uh, trait then it can be something really constructive and valuable to society uh, in the hands of someone that uh, is immature you know it can be just dangerous and, and difficult to to anticipate where it's going to sort of strike next than just an accident waiting to happen and and disagreeableness um, or, or low trait agreeableness is uh, fairly common in criminals which which makes sense uh, to even a, a lay person like uh, such as myself so I I hope that I tend towards more the, uh, uh, well, probably in between, you know, the child wielding uh, a knife and, and the chef, but um, I'm trying to work towards more being the chef and creating something constructive uh, using, using my trait disagreeableness. So how this trait has played out in my relationship has um, been interesting in that my wife obviously my wife and I you know uh, lock horns on you know a lot of things she's fairly high in trait assertiveness which is a part of agreeable she's more agreeable than I am and and my wife uh, has been really um, has had a great effect over me in socializing uh, that disagreeable uh, side um, of, of my personality and as much as the negative side of it in that we disagree and we fight and quite often over very trivial things and you know, if I really if I don't want to do something that's it's very difficult for her to get me to, to, to do whatever that is uh, she's starting to see the the benefits and and mostly in retrospect of of this uh, trait so one of those is uh, as, as much as I'm disagreeable against her I'm disagreeable for her so and and so it's kind of like if you imagine you know I've got this shield that I put up of disagreeableness that that you know when her and I are engaging, um, I can also have her step behind me and have the boys, my kids, step behind me, and I put that shield up uh, uh, against the the world or some other uh, actor, um, and so they become a part of part of um, my um, bubble, and I I care about them immensely. And so I, I try to use that disagreeableness uh, in their service. And that's not probably well understood or wasn't well understood in, in our household. And, and I've, it's taken me a long time to try and unpack that um, to her. 
and in a way that she can understand and also to understand it for myself. I, uh, disagreeable people often know what they want and, and speak in a, in a very direct manner, which doesn't always uh, land well. And a lot of our battle has been around my direct, my direct language um, uh, um, her assuming that my direct language is um, a command more than uh, uh, entering into a negotiation. So I know what I want and I express that and, and, and the part that I fail to communicate well is what do you want and how do we, how do we compromise to, so that we can both be happy or do you um, acquiesce um, in this instance completely for me and then um, because I care about her and, and I'm this way inclined I'll sort of keep score and I'll be like well I don't want that to happen all the time um, so I will choose when to um, do 100% what she wants um, at times and and to, to try and you know even those scales because as much as I am disagreeable and I know what I want I fundamentally um, uh, at a fundamental level I care about her deeply and 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 want her to be happy um, so there's there's times that I uh, have have obviously made compromises and, and done things uh, to that end. So the kids has been a really interesting um, part and I'm really glad that I've learnt about uh, this trait uh, before having the kids and have had made some progress into understanding it but it's been a real challenge because obviously kids are fairly disagreeable <laughs> not necessarily um, in, in temperament yet, but just in their inability to manage their emotions, uh, which is developmentally appropriate. And, and uh, you know, they, our boys seem like they have relatively strong personalities, but um, we're yet to sort of see where, where um, what sort of traits and, and where they sit on the spectrum of, of different personality models. They want what they want, and the issue is I want what I want. Now, because I'm relatively socialised and 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 you know can can uh, rationally um, you know manage myself in a situation. Say this is a child that is behaving a certain way because of their that's developmentally appropriate. It's it's not often that you know some one can treat me the same way they treat me without any repercussions. And it's been a really uh, interesting um, sort of part of, of child rearing. And, and it was something that my wife and I were discussing and, and she was uh, you know, a bit taken aback um, when we were talking about it. She's like, wow, I hadn't thought about your disagreeableness coming, coming out. Um, in, in your parenting and being something that you really have to manage um, well uh, in, in the service of uh, you know, uh, helping and nurturing our, our children. And you know, it's such a simple thing that you know, now that I'm aware of, I can manage it and I've got the language around it to talk to her about it and to say, hey, you know, I'm my, uh, agreeableness threshold is is um, waning uh, or my ability to be agree agreeable is um, you know getting drained uh, I need a bit of space I, and um, I need that recharge time and I'm introverted as well so so that plays into it and you know she can say okay I understand that and and you know her having the hormonal changes around um, you know which have affected the, the, the changes in her hearing and the sensitivity to their cries um, is something that you know obviously I need to take into account 
also it's something that I'm not experiencing, but it's, it's something that's affecting her um, quite uh, heavily. So in a nutshell, uh, that is my take on uh, trait disagreeableness or, or uh, you know, trait agreeableness and uh, how it's uh, impacted and, and played out in, in my relationship, in my marriage and, and also raising kids. Definitely recommend having a look at Understand Myself. Definitely recommend uh, uh, understandmyself.com, sorry, and, and any, any information you can look at on, on the Big Five uh, personality model. Uh, like I said, self-awareness is um, key to success in, in uh, all area, areas of life, and, and this is a great way to certainly get started and to um, start on that road to um, knocking the edge off uh, maybe some some of those really strong personality traits that may may be causing problems like disagreeableness has has for me uh, or um, you know maybe becoming becoming more um, assertive or disagreeable is is, is what's needed uh, in your life um, if you're really high in, in trait agreeableness so check it out and thanks for watching and we will see you next time.